Hello, this is Bill Webb, aka Billy Indiana. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Kickstarters I've backed in January, February, and March, and also some Kickstarters that are coming up in the near future that I'm pretty interested about. So if you're interested in knowing what I backed and what I'm looking forward to, stick around. Of the games that I've backed so far in 2021, the only one that's closed is Maquis. And here you can see the Board Game Geek website for that. It's a solitaire worker placement game with variable goals and a playtime approximately 20 minutes. I'll just show you some of the art here. Uh, it's got this board, and it's this is a, a remake. It's a second edition with some new features. So there's the key uh, picture showing the main game board. And then here is the Kickstarter page. Um, so this, like I said, second edition, multiple languages. Uh, one of the reasons I backed it is it's it's a solo game that I think looks really fun theme-wise. Um, I also think that uh, for the price of $29 to get this upgraded version of a game that a lot of people really enjoy with all the upgraded features, you can see here uh, what it comes with, the game board, the rule book, the different pawns for, mil uh, for military and resistance and... Uh, and soldiers, and then the resource tokens, uh, and they've been able to expand a few things as well. So uh, you can see what's in the box here. There's some interesting how to play information, rule books and print and play for you to download if you're interested. Uh, if you just need the new content, you can back it just $5, but I've never had this board game. And you can see uh, a, some good reviews here from Minimum Player Count and uh, also Dice Tower, Board Game Gumbo, um, and so there's quite a few good reviews here and even some playthroughs from Quackalope and others. So uh, lots of support for this game and I'm looking forward to it. The shipping is just $6 in the U.S. so that's not too bad um, and excited for this game, Maquis. So that's the first one I backed and it is already closed. It's estimated to deliver in November of this year. There is a late pledge open though. So uh, if you're interested in backing, you can go to the Kickstarter page and click on late pledge. The other three that I've backed are still active. And the next one is High Noon. And High Noon, I guess, was a Kickstarter that tried to come out um, a year or two ago and didn't pan out, but they're um, doing a really interesting approach this time. They're giving sort of backwards support to the people who supported it the first time. Uh, it's obviously a Western game, and it's a miniatures-based kind of skirmish game. Um, and there's all kinds of different posses you can use. Uh, there's quite a few pictures here on their Board Game Geek site. And they've been pretty active in posting new information, showing videos of gameplay, showing videos of what the miniatures are going to look like, uh, introducing the new posses as they're advanced into the Kickstarter. Uh, on the Kickstarter page itself, you can see there's 13 days to go. And they've more than doubled their goal, uh, and they continue to rise. Um, in terms of what they're offering here, there's a little bit about the story. So you've got these different gangs and posses that are battling it out. Um, and the core components, you can see it comes with these grids for gameplay where you've got buildings and open territory. You've got these miniatures and the cardboard tokens, um, also the posse cards and character sheets. Um, and then there's different loot cards, and then there's also different stretch goals where they're opening up new posses and such. Um, and so the base pledge of $52 uh, gets you the core box. Um, and then if you go to Bullets and Brandy, you get everything in that core box plus the Sweetwater tier. Um, so it's giving you some more um, posse members, some more loot cards, some more miniatures, uh, some more tiles for the game. And the Metal and Money um, pledge was originally $100 if you got it early on. Uh, now it's $130. Uh, and it comes with everything in the prior plus now this Bullets and... Uh, sorry, everything in the Bullets and Brandy tier and up. And now these extra features. So now we've got additional loot, uh, loot cards and torches, armor suits, economy cards, general store, gunsmith, blacksmith, Abernathy gang, uh, more posse cards... So quite a bit. And then if you go to the everything and the, the uh, what is it? Everything in the stove. I forget what that is. Uh, then it's everything 
including all future expansions, and it comes in this wooden crate. Um, that one jumps all the way up to $300, so it didn't seem wise and for my uh, budget to jump into that one, but uh, that one does come with everything and all future expansions. And it also comes with free shipping. So, And then there's going to be these optional buys. So if there are some posses that aren't in the tier that you're ordering but that you're really interested in, you can add posses, you can add these upgraded tokens, um, you can add cards and other things. So there's quite a few add-ons here. Um, they're still figuring out the shipping. And so here they're just talking about trying to make it affordable. And then they've got some estimates here. Uh, so for the U.S. it's going to be in, uh, anywhere from 10 uh, to 0 if you're in the highest branch. So 15 for those middle two layers uh, or tier levels. So... Uh, that is High Noon, a game that I'm pretty interested in. Um, I really like Western themes, and there's I've seen a couple How to Play videos that are posted here and, and some review and uh, uh, other videos online that make me very interested in it. So about 13 days to go. Lots to watch on this one if you're interested. Um, High Noon is the second one that I've backed so far in 2021. The third one is Eternal Palace. This one's by Stephen Aramini and Alley Cat Games. Um, and this one, it sounds like it's a little bit of a kind of a canvas. If you're interested, if you're familiar with that new game where you're creating, uh, works of art, it's got a little bit of that feature to it. You can see the art is really beautiful just on the uh, box and the game board. Uh, it's got some 3d elements that you can see here in these pictures, some cool miniatures and figurines that come with the game. Uh, but if you, if you know about canvas, you might know that you're actually constructing a, a picture. And that's part of this Eternal Palace. So here is the Kickstarter page. You can see there's 10 days to go, and they've you know reached well over their goal. Um, and they've got a couple different backer levels. But like I said, you can see the really pretty art that's drawn me in. Um, I've heard it's kind of a Kingsburg-ish game where you've got dice placement or maybe um, some like Dice City or something like that where you're placing dice out and um, I've liked those games and here's the kind of image where you're layering in pictures to create a work of art kind of like the canvas it doesn't have the sleeve deal that canvas does um, but so it's got some interesting combinations where you're creating these bits of art by layering in the pieces you're managing your resources using dice placement on the board um, so it's it's got some really unique things, and uh, Rado was really interested. And he said we're really head over heels with this one, um, and it's also one of those that's just not very expensive for what it appears uh, is included with all the layered art pieces, um, all the different cards, and 3D miniatures and tokens. Um, yeah, it's uh, I think a really interesting game, and also just a beautiful bit of art built in. So those are some of the minis that they're including. And the Labyrinth expansion uh, comes with this deluxe version. So that is Eternal Palace, another game that uh, I have backed so far. Again, there's uh, 10 days left on this one. So if you are interested, you can go to the Kickstarter page and check it out. Um, they've got some stretch goals, which have already been uh, passed. Some of them are social stretch goals and otherwise. Um, so if you're interested in this one, check it out. Uh, the two pledge levels, the base game is about $46, and the deluxe game is $59. Uh, but for a game of this quality and, uh, and this amount of uh, components and uh, features, I think that's a very reasonable price. The next one that I've backed so far is Crafting Arzium, and it's a documentary. And this is actually a documentary based on the world that's been created by Ryan and Mallory Lockett from Red Raven Games. And here, Hans Scharler, I hope that's how you say your name, Hans, <laughs> uh, but excited to announce his newest project. And he has been serving in the past as a producer with Eric Rail on Game Designers. And I haven't watched Game Designers, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. I'm a real big fan of Red Raven Games. I own quite a few of them, and I'm currently um, playing Sleeping Gods with my wife, going through some campaigns with that. So I'm very interested to see this documentary about their creation of this world of Arzium and also some input or insights into the creation of their Now or Never game, which is coming out later this year. Um, the Kickstarter page is right here. And so you can see the video about it if you'd like. Um, you can see that you can now add the Game Designers Digital Download. That's an add-on that's coming now. So um, it's 
talking about the world that is around these games near and far, Rome, above and below, Islebound, and City of Iron. Um, some nice imagery of Ryan and Mallory there. You can kind of get a note about the campaign goals and um, following them around. In terms of the pledge levels, um, you can just, for $3, get the wallpaper for 15 I think I got Early Bird, so it was a little cheaper, um, the digital download. And then you can also get DVDs and Blu-rays and lots of other things if you want to expand all the way up to even having you be a part of the video itself with very large donation values. Um, and then they add on, you can get some art prints. So that's an image from the new game coming up, Now or Never. Had a chance to play test that one online. Really fun game, looking forward to quite a bit. You can order some promo, promo cards that come with the game, Now or Never, set in this RZM world. Um, you can get your Blu-ray signed, screensavers, and then like we saw, there's no picture, but at the top, um, it did say that now they're including the, uh, as an add-on, the Game Designer's Digital Download. So I'll probably add that on when the uh, when the Pledge Manager comes out. There's just four days to go on this one, so if you're interested, you can see that it's just barely surpassed its goal, um, but hopefully a few more people will jump in here in these last few days and uh, provide a little bit more for them to make this documentary come to life. And the last one that I've backed is the Everdell Expansions and Complete Collection that's come out. And Everdell is a game that's basically a modern classic now, I would say. Um, people almost everywhere have heard of Everdell. If you're into gaming at all, you know something about it. You know it's the game with the incredible tree on the edge of the board, the game, uh, game board, um, with just incredible art and cute little creatures. Um, but the Kickstarter is one where we're, they're bringing out the two latest um, expansions, the Mistwood expansion and the New Leaf expansion. And they're also offering the complete collection, which comes with everything. And while I've wanted to play Everdell, I've been looking to get Everdell. It's a game that I think I'll really enjoy from all the videos I've watched about it and from talking with other gamers that I know who play games. Um, it's one that I'm really excited for, uh, but have never invested in. And this just seemed like a great opportunity to go for the complete collection, just get it all at once. Um, and so this is uh, the Everdell. And here's the first, or one of the expansions of Mistwood. This one, I believe, is the one that offers an ability to play with a, a virtual player, an AI player. And you can see just the art continues to be incredible. You can, if you have everything already, get the big old box of storage where you can put everything in it. It comes with some nice inserts, card dividers, and some other information. Uh, or if you don't have anything, you can go for the complete collection, which is a huge savings as opposed to buying it piece by piece. Um, and so that comes with everything Everdell. So it's the base game, um, all the expansions, Pearl Brook, Spirecrest, Belfair, New Leaf, and Mistwood. Um, comes with all these deluxe featured items, um, all the deluxified cards and inserts and everything. So um, everything... Everdell, basically, in that complete pledge. And it's such a good price that the biggest uproar I've seen about this game online is that people are upset that it's too good a price. <laughs> uh, that they've invested way more than that piece by piece as they've been buying it over the years. Um, and I understand that frustration if, if you've had that investment going for years and now you see, well, I could have waited till now. But I guess the other side of that is if, if you've been investing in it in years, you've also been enjoying it for years. So um, the rest of us will have to wait till next year to start enjoying it if we go for that. But I am very grateful for, personally for that great pledge of value. And then some deluxe options. You can get resource vessels for an add-on if you'd like. Um, and then there's also Tales from Green Acorn. Um, a book about the history and stories of Everdell, if you're interested in more of the stories. And then down here, quite a bit of praise, some playthroughs, uh, overviews, reviews, uh, lots of different videos. I can't imagine that if you're watching this video that you've never heard of Everdell, but if you want to know more, watch some of those other videos and learn the details. And then those are, again, the pledge levels. So this one, I believe, is four more days before it closes. Yes, four more days. Um, and they've, you know, gone almost a three and a half million dollars uh, of income for this game. So uh, incredible Kickstarter for, for Starling Games. All right, now to the games that I am interested in that haven't come out yet. Uh, the first one is Buru. And this one, actually the Kickstarter, I believe starts on the 23rd, so in a couple days. And the reason I'm interested in this one, you can see it says, you are a noble of 14th century Majapahit Empire, a powerful, Thalassocracy, a maritime kingdom that presides over the Indonesian archipelago. And we lived in Indonesia for 12 years. 
And uh, this looks like a fun game that is uh, able to be played from one to four players. Um, and if you look at the art, uh, the artistry is by Indonesian artists. And uh, so that really drew me in again, having lived in Indonesia for quite some time. Um, just being able to see the culture we lived in for over a decade and see it come to life in gameplay. So I'm very interested in checking out this Kickstarter when it comes to life. Um, and then there is also uh, a site where you can go to and play online. I just found it today, so I haven't even had a chance to check it out. So I think the Kickstarter starts in two days, but you can see these incredible pieces um, and the beautiful game board of these folks trying it out. Um, very Indonesian style art and really excited to try this one out. So that is Buru, one of the games that I'm excited and we'll be checking out that Kickstarter in a couple days. The next one actually isn't a Kickstarter exactly, but it's a crowdfunding game coming through GameFound and that is Robinson Crusoe. Now Robinson Crusoe is another one I would consider to be a modern classic. So if you're into game boarding at all, uh, board gaming at all, uh, then you know about Robinson Crusoe and the GameFound um, crowdfunding project starts again on the 23rd, so a couple days. And in this, they're going to have the collector's edition. So um, that's what I'm interested in checking out. If you get on here in the next uh, little less than two days and click to follow, you can get a five euro credit for free on whatever level of, in, of investment you'd like to join at. Um, looking down here, you can see that Robinson Crusoe, it's a um, collaborative game that is really difficult to win. Um, but, you know, here we got Tom Vassell, Rado, Joel Eddy, um, lots of people singing their praises about this game. And this, the thing about this game is it's coming with reworks of the rules. It's coming with a book of adventures for all kinds of new um, storylines and uh, campaigns to play through. It's coming through the tutorial. It's coming with a tutorial campaign. It looks very much like the ideas that came about in the Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, where it teaches you the game as you go. And I, this is one thing I'm most excited about. I actually picked up a used copy of an old version of Robinson Crusoe when I first started getting into uh, board gaming. And I was so intimidated by it as I was reading through the rules and, and, and started watching videos. I ended up trading it for a different game. Uh, but now with this tutorial to help teach me and with all of these exciting miniatures, um, I'm very much interested in checking this out when it comes out in a couple days. Uh, the mobile app here also allows you to um, try some different features. It's not required for the game, uh, but that's an interesting twist. The Book of Adventures, like I said, all kinds of new scenarios. Or you can just get an upgrade pack if you already have a lot of Robinson Crusoe material. So I'm excited to learn more about this when that comes out in two days on the 23rd. The next one is Fjords, and Fjords also, I think, opens up on the 23rd. It's a remake of this game from 2005 um, by Franz Beno de Long. I think that's how you say his name. Um, and the older version, um, you know, it looks definitely dated. It's 16 years old. Um, these are some cookies, I think, but there's the actual game. Um, so it's got some, you know, interesting features. Uh, heard a couple reviews about the kind of game that it is and it seems interesting so I don't think it's quite as high on my list as some of the others that I've talked about but I'm definitely wanting to try it out I've, I've heard a lot of people say that they really enjoy this game um, it looks intriguing and whenever there's a remake I like to check it out and see I haven't played Fjords the original uh, but several content creators that I follow have been talking about it with some interest so I definitely want to check it out um, one that I'll, that I'll uh, look into when it opens up in a couple days. And then the last one, I don't know a date for, but it is Bantam West, a two to four player Western featured game. And you can say it says, welcome weary travelers to the town of Gallo Springs, the only civilized town in the entire Deathelm frontier, surrounded by bandits, predators, and cultists, only the tougher survive. If you're gonna last, you must find a source of income, purchase new gear, build shelter, recruit a posse, and protect your homestead. Do you have what it takes? An immersive sim adventure game for two to four players in the Western frontier. Um, so some pictures here to just show you a few things about the game so far that they have here on Board Game Geek. Some interesting art on the cards. And I think really pretty cover. Just makes me think about a Western movie. <laughs> so excited about that. Um, here you can see that they have some pre-order start dates for the English version showing that it's this May through June. So I don't know if that's when the Kickstarter is coming or if it's 
it's it's a little unclear. If you go to the Kickstarter page, you can click here to be notified when it's launched, but this is all it says so far, no predicted date, uh, just that same art and an opportunity to click if you want to be notified when it comes out. Um, this is pretty cool. I found this page that shows some of the miniatures. So you can see close-ups of some of these miniatures that will be included in the game. And they look like they're, I don't know the exact size. I guess I haven't gotten so far to see what the size of these miniatures will be, but the detail looks pretty cool. And so those are some of the features of the miniatures coming in this Bantam West game. And then uh, there is a review. So I'll put a link down below. Um, this review is by Beastie Geeks. And um, it's, he calls it a completely new genre of board games and talks to you a little bit about how the game works and shows a little bit about what the game looks like. So I don't know when this um, is going to come to Kickstarter, but I'm excited to see it when it does and check it out. I'm kind of a sucker for Western themes, and so I'm excited to see what this game turns out to be, especially since uh, Beastie Geeks thinks it's a very different kind of game. So we'll see. So I hope that was interesting and informative for you to hear what I'm interested in and backing on Kickstarter and potentially on GameFound um, games that I'm looking forward to that are coming out in the near future. If any of these are interesting to you, I'd love to hear the comments down below or read the comments down below. Which ones are you backing? Which other games that I didn't mention are you interested in? Uh, what do you like most about these games? I'd love to see your comments down below and have some interaction with you. If this video has been helpful or informative for you, it'd be great if you'd click the like button down below. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and go ahead and click on that bell icon if you want to get notifications about my future videos. As always, thanks for watching. This is Billy Indiana signing off. Oh.